In today's video, I'll be sharing some of my Pretty Girl fragrances with you all. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, in today's video, we'll be talking about my Pretty Girl fragrances. And basically what a Pretty Girl fragrance is to me is a fragrance that I reach for when I am feeling just very pretty, feminine when i'm in that girlish type mood so i think these fragrances would be best for women who are looking to display their more feminine side now i am not like the girliest girl of course i love my girly things but these fragrances for me are ones that i turn to when i'm just feeling more of that pretty girl vibe so let's go ahead and get into these fragrances so first up i have parfums de marley oriana so this fragrance is one that i have had a back and forth relationship with i love the scent of it it to me it smells like raspberry orange blossom marshmallow and whipped cream so it's sweet, it's fluffy, it's kind of airy and lightweight in my opinion. My downside of this is that this fragrance to me does not last long, but now that I have been layering it with the Oriana oil from Fragrant Body Oils, this works a lot better for me. And this just gives me those pretty girl vibes. It's such a nice like ladylike scent. I can't imagine a man wearing this. Actually, I don't think I can imagine a man wearing any of the fragrances that I'm talking about. But, you know, if you're a man and you wear any, please don't be offended. It's just for me, these feel very feminine and Oriana is no exception to that rule. This is just absolutely delicious smelling without smelling too kiddish, in my opinion. It is quite sweet, but it's not juvenile and it smells sophisticated like what is typical from Parfums de Marley. So again, that is Oriana from Parfums de Marley. Next up, I have Love Extreme by Killian. And this fragrance is a beautiful orange blossom marshmallow scent. In fact, when Oriana came out, I feel like it was compared a lot to Love Don't Be Shy or Love Extreme. Uh, but in my opinion, they are different. So anyway, on Love Extreme, this one smells like orange blossom, marshmallow, and then it has some other floral notes in it as well. I believe rose is the main other floral note in this. But again, it gives off that fluffy, very pretty vibe. This one is not as sweet as the original Love, if you have smelled that. To me, this one is a little bit more refined. It's easier to wear, and it definitely gives off a more elegant vibe, and it definitely works better in warmer weather. But overall, this is just a really pretty scent, and I just feel very feminine while I'm wearing it. So again, that is a Love Extreme by Killian. So this next fragrance is a little bit more on the fun side, and this is Angel Nova. So this fragrance is newer to my collection, but I I absolutely love it this is a fruity floral scent i smell raspberry and then you can smell in the background there is some rose and then there is a woody base to this fragrance and the woodiness i feel like just really helps to ground this it gives it a little bit more oomph than some other fruity floral scents this has that tartness of the raspberry but also some sweetness and it just feels very full body and it's absolutely beautiful. This is one of those pretty girl fragrances that in my opinion, is just a little bit more bold. So this is for the pretty and the fun girl. This is one that I think will work for a lot of different moods or personalities because although this is in my pretty girl fragrance video, I also wear this like when I'm wearing like a t-shirt and jeans. Like <laughs> I wear this even when I am super casual, not feeling very feminine. And I feel like it just helps me feel a little bit more like put together so again that is angel nova by moogler the next fragrance is one that i've had for a while and i feel like i used to talk about it a lot but i haven't talked about it recently but there is no denying that this is one of my go-to scents when i just want to smell pretty so this is gentle fluidity gold from maison francis kirk jean this one is very popular and i have talked about this one a lot as well but not recently so i wanted to bring it back to you all so this to me smells like a rose vanilla combo with some herbal green kind of touches to it i know for some people they don't get that same type of scent profile but that's what i get when i smell this fragrance and i just think it's very classy it's elegant 
it's pretty without being too stuffy it still kind of has this little bit of a casual vibe to it this is typically like my going to the doctor scent i know that sounds weird but <laughs> When I go to the doctor and I wear this fragrance, I feel like people always compliment me. I just feel like it smells just so beautiful and who could not love this? And it's never offensive. So again, that is Gentle Fluidity Gold from Maison Francis Kurtjean. This next fragrance is from The Seven Virtues and this is Lotus Pear. Now this fragrance is one that I typically reach for when I'm just doing something very chill, like running errands or that type of thing, but it never fails to put me in a more pretty mood. <laughs> So I don't always wear this when I'm dressed up trying to look pretty, but even if I'm not really feeling that pretty that day, this type of fragrance is one that I can reach for and it just boosts my mood. I didn't even talk about how it smells yet, but it smells like a watery pear scent. So the pear is there, it is not sharp, it's a little bit sweet, more round, and then it smells like it's mixed with watery florals. Yeah, and it's just very, easy going this is a very light wearing scent but it's something that every time i put it on it just makes me feel that much better <laughs> and it gives me a pretty vibe even like i said even if i'm not really feeling myself that day so again that is lotus pear from the seven virtues the next fragrance that i have is from zerzhoff and this is dama bianca so this fragrance is a beautiful vanilla with white florals it also has this kumquat note, which gives it a fruitiness, but it's a different type of fruitiness. I don't think kumquat is used very often in perfumery. And so to me, I think that makes it quite unique. Also, the vanilla that's used in this just smells very high quality. It smells a little bit spiced, but I wouldn't call this a spicy fragrance, but there is a little bit of spice in that vanilla that is a really good juxtaposition to the beautiful white florals in this scent. This is absolutely stunning. I don't wear it as much as I should because it is one of those kind of pretty girl scents in my opinion, but I really should wear it more often because every time I wear this, I just thoroughly enjoy it. I just smell so good. It sounds kind of basic, but it's actually super beautiful. So again, that is Dama Bianca from Zerzhoff. The next fragrance that I have is another one from Zerzhoff, and this is a Chento Overdose. Now again, I know this is in my Pretty Girl fragrance video, but I honestly feel like this just works perfectly in so many situations. It's quite versatile. So to me, this is a beautiful fruity floral scent. The fruits in here smell like a basket of mixed fruits mixed with some florals that are kind of hanging out in the background and a slight powdery touch to it. So this is a little sweet, but not overly so. And it's just a tad bit powdery in my opinion, which lends it some elegance. And I think this just works so well for those pretty girl type days and or nights. This actually was in my most versatile fragrance video because I feel like it just works so well in many different occasions. So if you have not seen that video, I will link it for you all. Definitely check it out when you're done watching this one. But yeah, I think it works well for pretty girls. So again, that is a Chento Overdose from Zerzhoff. This next fragrance is one that I don't wear very often, but when I do, I do really enjoy it. So this is Idola from Navitas Parfums. This was released with the first Big Beard, Big Beard business collaboration that he did with Navitas Parfums. And I picked it up even though I'm not a fan of rose and this is a rose centered fragrance. So to me, this smells like a very fresh, clean rose, very modern take on rose. It smells almost a little bit watery as well. Very likable scent in my opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of rose, so I don't reach for this that often. I also feel like rose scents, I kind of have to be in that very feminine mood to actually want to wear most rose scents and this one included. But overall, this is a really beautiful scent. I think it's a very nice take on rose. It's not boring. It's easy to wear it lasts really well and yeah i thoroughly enjoy wearing this i just don't wear it very often because like i said i have to be in one of those pretty feminine moods so again this is idola from navitas parfums this next fragrance is one that's super popular but this is a burberry her so this fragrance to me smells like a very airy fake strawberry scent <laughs> but not fake in a bad way but there's also something so crisp about this scent that I tend to only reach for when it's really hot. 
but it also makes me feel just very feminine. This is not one that I usually wear when I'm dressing up, but it's kind of one of those fragrances that I spray on for an immediate like mood boost it immediately makes me feel more pretty it makes me feel more feminine and i just love the way this smells and i think it's quite easy to wear and i feel like every pretty girl should have this in her collection so again that is burberry her and this is the original edp this next fragrance is from victor and rolf and this is flower bomb ruby orchid so this is the newest rendition of flower bomb and i love this one this one smells like a bouquet of flowers mixed with a very sweet, juicy fruit. I believe peach is the fruit that is predominant in this fragrance, but I don't necessarily smell a peach smell. I just smell a very juicy, sweet fruit. It's really good though. The flowers, and if you've never smelled Flower Bomb, the original or this one, the way that they do the flowers in this type of fragrance, I feel like it's kind of a floral fragrance for non-floral lovers because this is kind of like a syrupy sweet type floral fragrance and then mixed in with some of that patchouli. And I just think it's that one of those type of florals that are for non-floral lovers like myself. So this is one of those fragrances that I wear when I am feeling pretty or if I'm just feeling a little blah and I want a little extra pep in my step this is one that I can reach for to give me that very feminine vibe so again this is flower bomb ruby orchid by Victor and Rolf this last fragrance is the one that I don't talk about very often but I do really love it this is Dolce and Gabbana pour femme so again this is a raspberry marshmallow scent that is quite airy and it kind of has this clean kind of shampoo-y vibe to it. And I'm not really into shampoo type scents generally, but this one to me, I don't know the way it's done. It just gives me very like clean, very pretty vibes. And I love this one. This is one that I could pretty much wear anytime just to give myself that boost. It's not one that I typically would reach for when I'm going out, but if I'm going but if I'm just running my errands and I want to feel just a little bit prettier, <laughs> this is the type of fragrance typically could fit the bill for that. I also really like wearing this to bed because it's just so soft and kind of fluffy smelling. Really pretty. I know this is an older fragrance. Nobody really talks about it anymore, but I happen to love it. So again, that is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. So those were the pretty girl fragrances that I wanted to share with you all. If you have a fragrance that you go to when you know you just want to smell good and feminine and very pretty, let us know the name of that fragrance down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you also have your notification bells on so that you don't miss a video from me. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me over there so we can chit chat in my DMs and in my Instagram stories. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.